So here we are, Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. This evening I took all the boards off these lower three beds. They lay there. Some's there. They were pretty rotted. Kind of shocked me. I didn't expect them to be. So I had to come up with another game plan. Originally I planned on putting those down along this edge for a border to hold the soil in and, and to um, hold the uh, cattle panels in. So the cattle panels will set against the board. So I had to come up with another plan. So I had some fiberglass tube, inch and three quarter square tube, fiberglass. Then I had a bunch of rough cut lumber in my shed. So I just went and got some, I'm just gonna use rough cut, rough cut lumber to do the, do the outside perimeter with. So. It'll still work. And I also, this evening, I also uh, took the wood chips out of these center beds, center walkways, these little short shoots, piled them up in the middle. There was actually a couple weeds in there yet. I had, I pulled it out there. I need, there's one right there I need to pull any line. And um, up here, the same way I pulled, there wasn't no weeds in these two short shoots, other than that sunflower. And uh, there's the wood chips, so. Next step on this, the next step on this is going to be to take the shovel and uh, dig out the shovel with just along that edge of that bed. There's a lot of compost in them beds, but I'll level it all out. It'll it'll be good. It'll look look good. It'll grow well. So that's the next step. Will be to do that, and I'll probably put some. Uh, cardboard down in these two in these two short shoots on the lower side that way I got somewhere to put the compost it's in these beds I might just throw it up for now but it's gonna end up getting cardboard down there anyway so I might as well just put it down and be done and I'll just drive more of them tubes in and I got some there it's already cut and I got I don't even know how much I got like 30 pieces of it the other day off the Amish so that's what's going to happen. Um, it's getting dark out. It's not late by no means. It's only 7.30, but it's getting freaking dark too early this time of year. I hate it, but it is what it is. So that's where I'm going to be at. I'm going to probably shovel probably shovel these beds out this evening yet. And then after that. So I've got the side dug out. Got more boards put in. Stakes drove in. I need to screw it fast and whatnot so it stays there. But first off, I'm going to Take these boards. They're just sitting in there for now. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna burn them. I'm going to uh, burn them with a weed burner. So what that does is burnt wood can't won't rot. So when I burn these, burn them, burn all four sides, blacken them. And then that wood won't rot. So it's up against the ground like it is now, like those are, and it won't rot up. Well, would eventually, but take a whole lot longer than what that will. That's a good way to keep the woods from rotting. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up the I'm gonna take the weed burner, and burn them boards. I'm gonna blacken them. Um, I've never done this before, it's new to me too, but but uh, keeps the boards from rotting. And it's, it's a Japanese thing, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. Um, I think it starts with an S, but whatever it is. Someone can correct me. Um, keeps boards from rotting up. And it's against the ground. They won't rot. In fact, some of the some of the uh, log cabins in the area that was built by the settlers used this on the baseboards, and they're still there from the 16, 1700s. So it works. So I'm gonna try it on this on this uh, greenhouse. So let's see how it does.
So that's that's pretty much what I'm going to end up doing. Um, to all the boards that get around the perimeter. Um, I, as you can see, I forgot to do the ends, both ends actually. Did the sides and the tops, but not the ends. I'll get those. Um, seem pretty simple. It's the first time, like I said, it's the first time I ever did it, but it uh, things gonna work out pretty good. So let me get started. Okay, so I moved it over to here so I can see I can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pick this board here up, probably somewhere in that area, to screw it fast. This side's way lower than the other side is. I'm not gonna level it out, but I wanna get it up as high as I can, so I'll put the top of the board up to up to about here. From here down I'll just cover I'll put insulation boards in between. In between each of these um <clears throat> so that, that's that's what i got in mind okay i burnt the boards gonna screw fast so here's all you gotta do just pick it up pull it up part way screw fast and i'll move down to the other end So I'm gonna twist you around. And I'm not too concerned about it being level. It is what it is. I'm, I just want it more more level than it is. But I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time leveling it out. It's only it's only a greenhouse to grow winter vegetables in. So it's not that critical. So I'm just going to go do that around, around the perimeter, put a couple screws in each board. Sorry, you can't see my face. What did you want to do? It's ugly as hell. But I'm just going to do that around the perimeter. So that's about it for right now. Talk to you soon. So here back, um, I did about all I can do down on that side. Got all the boards in I can get in for now. I've got a couple more I need to put in behind me. You can't really see where I'm at, but um, so I'm gonna take these off. We'll take the boards off these these three beds. Oh, sorry. I'll take the boards off them right quick. Uh, till I get that done, it'll be dark. So. So there it is, the boards are off these upper three raised beds. Um, pile wood there, a bunch of scrap wood over there, some there, some there and there. Um, so the next step's gonna be to measure from there up to here and make sure we're parallel on both sides the whole way through. And then I'll start driving the stakes in the ground and bus, uh, inch and three quarters square tube fiberglass square tube and i'll drive them in up here and i'll start putting my boards in 
for the upper side. And those boards, I'll actually probably just lay them flat on the ground so they hang up like this side here was, so then it'll be more level than what it is now, but it still won't be level. But um, I'm not worried too much about it. Like I said, it's just a hoop house for growing winter veg. We'll still get plenty of radishes and turnips and lettuce and kales and spinaches and whatnot out of it. And then next spring, I'll probably put some tomatoes and stuff in here. But that's later down the road, so whatever. Um, anyhow, that's, to the, that's the end of this one. I'm probably going to call this end of this video. So um, I know I'll keep preaching, take care of your soil. This definitely isn't taking care of your soil, what I'm doing here, digging all this up and whatnot, because it's killing a lot of the microorganisms and the funguses and all that stuff that actually make your stuff grow, not the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that the chemical companies want you to believe. They play a part, but they don't play a part as much as the other stuff does. But different video, different time. So, till we meet again, take care and God bless.